what's up and welcome back to my channel for today's video I wanted to do a little get ready with me I wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup routine because I realized I haven't done a beauty video in so long Like I haven't done a makeup video just like a sit down get ready with me style of video in literally so long So I just wanted to film one for you guys show you what I've been doing lately with my makeup show you some products I've been absolutely loving lately give this video a thumbs up if you like it So I know that you enjoy these kinds of videos and also leave me some comments down below I love chatting with you guys So let's talk more down there and make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is at the just Brooke. I will put it on the screen, but follow me over there. We're so close to 50k, so make sure you subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. Let's get this channel to 50k. We're so close. Also, this video is sponsored by Scentbird. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. We will get more into that in a minute. Let's get right into this video. Hello, good morning. Currently drinking a very large cup of coffee. So good. I also have a sparkling water. You can never have too many beverages. So to start off getting ready, I just put on some skincare. I put on my Kopari Coconut Face Cream and then the Saturday Skin Eye Cream. And I actually got these from Scentbird. If you guys haven't heard of Scentbird, they are a really, really cool company. So they are a perfume subscription service. I got these three perfumes from them and I am so excited because they sent me the most amazing scents. Also, can we just talk about how cute these colors are like oh my god so adorable so cute for summer the first one they sent me is the nest sunkissed hibiscus this one smells so good the perfect summer scent and then the next one they sent me is um toka gia and this one is so so good it's very like florally and then they also sent me mark jacobs daisy they come in these little tubes and it's a month supply so you get a new one every single month and it's just such a better alternative than buying a huge bottle of perfume especially if you're not sure if you're gonna love it and this is so much more affordable I believe it is $14.95 a month for this subscription service and you just get to try out so many different perfumes it's so great they have tons of high-end perfumes so many different ones and they also have tons of skincare and wellness products which is amazing we love and then I also got this which I thought was so cool it's an essential oil roll-on I've been keeping this beside my bed and I put it on every night before I go to sleep and it just really calms me down it has lavender rosemary frankincense and it just smells so good so if you guys are interested I will leave all of the details in the description box below if you want to try out Scentbird they are such a cool company I would highly recommend it I will leave everything down below I think I'm gonna do Daisy because it's just such a classic and it's such a great daytime smell so we're gonna do that we're gonna start off with foundation of course maybe we'll do the NARS today so I have a damp beauty sponge here this is the Morphe one. Love it. It's so great. I hope this isn't too light for me because I just put on fake tanner. We'll see, I guess. Ooh, might be a little light. That's okay. We have bronzer. I feel like with the NARS foundation, a little bit goes such a long way, which I love. That bottle has lasted me for so long. So it's a little bit light for me, but that's okay. We'll even it out with bronzer. I asked you to leave me some questions because I wanted to do a little Q&A while I was getting ready. I thought that would be fun. Let's go to the questions. Fave local stores in Toronto. That's such a good question. Um, I really love the shops in Kensington. So by the way, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. But my favorite local shops in Toronto would definitely be a lot of the ones in Kensington. There's so many good thrift shops in Kensington. I really like all the thrift shops there. I always find really good stuff there. So I'm just gonna set my makeup with the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder. And then I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer and I actually just bought this yesterday. I went to Sephora yesterday and I picked these up and honestly, I haven't been to Sephora since before quarantine so it was so nice to go back. I'm gonna use the little brush it came with. It blends out so nice. That's my biggest issue with bronzers is I find they don't blend out nicely, but this one blends out so nice. And then I'm gonna go in with some blush and I'm using the Tarte 
Clay Play Volume 2 palette right now. I love this palette. I got it around Christmas time. I've used it so much. Really, really like the blush. It's in the shade Desert. Um, I'm sure you can buy this individually too. It's just from Tarte. Sometimes I also bring it up to my forehead too, just to make it look like I got a little bit of sun, you know? Because I don't actually ever tan my face. I'm just like very afraid of the sun because when I used to live in Australia, I got the worst sunburn of my entire life. Like so bad, my nose is blistering so bad, my whole face hurts so bad, like I couldn't even sleep at night, it was so painful. So ever since then, I'm just very afraid of the sun. I was so terrified that I like damaged my skin permanently. I was literally freaking out. So I just like to put a little bit of blush on my nose just to look like I've been chilling out in the sun, like a very sun-kissed look. I would rather just fake it and keep my skin safe from the sun, you know what I mean? Let's answer another question. I feel like I'm already halfway done my makeup, but I've only answered one question. I thought I was gonna be better at this. Sid Hill, hey Sid, asks, first place you want to travel when quarantine is over. I really, 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 really wanna go to Greece. I don't know why, I just like really think it would be so beautiful. I've never been. The only place that I've really traveled in my life is Australia like because we lived I don't know if you guys know this about me but me and Braden actually lived in Australia for six months I think that was the first airplane we ever took we were it was so like spontaneous we're just like let's move to Australia but that's pretty much the only cool place I've ever traveled to and then we also did Hawaii like on the way to Australia we stopped in Hawaii and then on the way back from Australia we stopped in Hawaii so those are the only two places that I've ever really been to outside of North America. So I really want to do, I want to do Europe, I want to do Greece, Italy, Spain, and I really would like to do Bali, Thailand. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of places that I really want to go to. Sid also asks, what is your favorite makeup product right now? Well, I feel like I want to say this because I'm actually like obsessed with this. I literally just put it on and I'm really into it. Also. Like this foundation, so good. Colette V12 asks, what are your favorite skincare products? I have so many favorite skincare products right now. I am like a skincare junkie. I love skincare so much. I love trying out new things. So if you guys want me to do a whole video on my skincare routine, let me know. But right now, I'm really into the hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. I use that every single day and I feel like it's been really good for my skin. I also love the lactic acid by The Ordinary. I really love the Drunk Elephant facial cleanser. Um, yeah, I feel like those are my top three right now, but if you guys want to see a whole video, let me know. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. Why is Alexa talking to me? Alexa, stop! Does, does your Alexa ever do that? Mine will just randomly start talking sometimes and it really freaks me out. <laughs> I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio in medium brown. I love this stuff. It's really pigmented, really great. I feel like I can't do this on camera. I need to look so deeply into the mirror and be really focused. So I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows and I will be right back. Eyebrows are done. I feel like some days I have really good eyebrow days and some days are not not the best eyebrow days. I feel like this one is somewhere in the middle. Like They're okay, they could be better, but it's fine. We're moving on. Does anyone else feel the same? Like I feel like this eyebrow is so much easier to do than this eyebrow. It's really a struggle. Like this one I can do in like five seconds, but then this one is just like so difficult. Anyway. I'm just quickly going to throw on some highlighter. So I'm just using the Timber highlighter from the Tarte palette. This stuff is really pretty. It's very um, golden How did you grow your YouTube account by the way? I love you. I love you, too And I feel like I grew my YouTube just through a lot of patience and consistency and Just like a lot of hard work. Honestly, if you guys want me to make an entire video on how to like start a YouTube channel or how I grew my YouTube channel. If you guys are YouTubers and that's something that would be interesting to you, let me know. Like I could do a QA and a or something like specifically about that. So I'm going in with the Morphe Nature, I think this is the Nature Glow. 
Is it? Where does it say? I don't know. I think it's the Nature Glow palette. But this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I actually dropped it once and I broke these two shades and I just like mushed them back in and they still work. So I feel like for my everyday makeup routine, I do a different eyeshadow every single day. It just like depends on my mood. But I normally gravitate towards a lot of warm browns or oranges, things like that. I feel like that looks good with my eye color. So I'm gonna start off with this like light warm brown here and I'm just putting it on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend it out in the crease oh, I should probably zoom you guys in for the eye portion of this video then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with the shape inside it which is like this very peachy, peachy brown and I'm gonna focus this more on the corner and then go around in the crease I think I'm gonna go for this little brown color at the edge, just like in the same color family, just a little darker. I'm gonna focus just like a lot on the outer corner. I think this is even. It's really hard to tell because I'm not really using a proper mirror, but I'm just going to take this little blending brush just to blend everything out a little bit more. I'm not putting any product on it, just blending. Sometimes I use my fingers too, just to get everything looking just super blended and natural. It's for my everyday makeup look, I don't want anything too crazy. And then I'm gonna use my finger because I find that using shimmer with your finger is the best way to apply it. And then I'm going to use, which one do I wanna use? Maybe this one. This one at the top here, this like lightish pinky rose gold. When you use your finger, I feel like it pushes all the product on, whereas a brush will steal a lot of the product, in my opinion. But some people use brushes and it works great for them. I find, for me, I like using my fingers. There we go. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on this, I don't even know what these are called, this little smudger brush to do under my eye. And I'm just going to use this Tarte palette and I'm using the shade called Journey. It's just this really, really light brown. I'm just, so fluff on my eyelash. I'm just gonna put it right in the corner and like not even really bring it around just cause I wanna keep it really natural. Well, as natural as we can. <laughs> it already is not very natural, but you know, you know what I mean. If I'm feeling like really wild, I will put a little shimmer on the inner corner. I don't do this every day just because I don't really care to do it, but I'll do it today. Maybe I will answer one more question. How long have you been vegan? I have been vegan for, okay, so I've been vegetarian for 10 years and I've been vegan for six years. But long story short, my dad cured his heart disease from going vegan and my mom cured MS from going vegan. And I just like really, really support the vegan lifestyle. My parents are both vegan. My boyfriend, Brayden, is also vegan. And his mom actually ended up going vegan too. So it's like a whole squad of us now. But yeah, it's like mostly for health reasons and I feel so good being vegan. I know it's not for everyone and I would never push that upon anyone, but it's been really amazing for me personally. I feel like I have so much more energy being vegan and also my boyfriend, Brayden, used to get really, really bad migraines like once a month and since he went vegan, he literally does not get them anymore. Cutting down on the amount of meat and dairy, I think can be so good for you. Okay, my eyelashes are done. I love this mascara. I feel like it makes my eyelashes so long. Did I tell you what it is? Yes, the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This stuff is amazing. Okay, I just quickly put on some chapstick and took the foundation off my lips with a little Q-tip and because I feel like I always need to do that before I put on lipstick. I literally always need to have chapstick, always. I don't know why, I just always do. So the lipstick that I'm going to be using is Velvet Teddy by MAC. I use this lipstick all the time. Look how much, this is like as far as it rolls up. Like that's how much I've used this stuff. I'm obsessed, this is my favorite lipstick of all time. Well, as of right now anyway. And sometimes if I feel like it's a little too dark, I will add this super light nude color over top. This is Calm Heat by MAC. And I'll just like dab it on 
just to lighten it up because sometimes I find it's a little dark for me. Um, I really prefer lighter pink lipsticks. For a daytime look, I'll just add a little bit of that. You can use like any super light nude color to lighten up a lipstick and make it more daytime. But yeah, so this is my everyday makeup look. This is what I do pretty much every single day of my life. If I'm wearing makeup, that is. enjoyed today's video I hope you enjoyed this um, little get ready with me slash Q&A if you like this style of video let me know because I can definitely do more of these yeah leave me some comments down below letting me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that helps me to see if you guys like these kinds of videos so make sure you're always giving videos thumbs up that you enjoy follow me on Instagram at the Jess Brooke and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video I love you bye